Today's video, we're going to be taking another look at Hendrix Classics & Co. James Bond. And we're going to be using my beautiful Curve Aluminium. If you like the sounds of that, stay tuned. Let's get shaving. Greetings, friends! How's it going? Uh, so glad to have you here in my den with me, J-Mac, the Red Island Shaver. And yes, that's right. Hendrix Classics & Co. James Bond. Got the full set now, not just the sample. Uh, big thank you to Pete at Hendrix Classics & Co. And um, Todd from Take Care Man, who uh, sent me this set. So I do have the matching set. I have the soap. And the matching bomb so thank you very much Todd and uh, thank you Pete Pete also sent me a soap um, so what we're going to do is on the next Canadian Mafia show which is next week there's going to be a, a James Bond soap giveaway courtesy of take care man and uh, Pete from Hendrix so yes you guys are gonna have a shot to win this but you will have to uh, look for the post on the Mafia show account on Instagram and you'll have to play by the rules then you had to watch the show. So, yes. All that being said, let's get into the shave. Going with the uh, Simpsons Trafalgar T3. Love this brush. Absolutely love this brush. It's such a great brush. And we'll get into uh, this shave. And look at that pour. Look how much soap is in this. This thing is full. Right to the nuts of soap. So, thank you very much, Pete. That's a... That's a hell of a pour. And Pete is a hell of a guy, too. He's been a great sponsor of uh, the Canadian Mafia show, a great sponsor of all the Instagram shows, and just an all-around peach of a guy to deal with. Um, great fella, actually. Keep an eye out. Also, the Mafia is going to be doing a, uh, a quad live shave using the uh, HCNC um, chemistry set, where uh, you have the unscented soap and you add uh, your scent via the, the vials of frag oil. So we will be doing that. We're just trying to trying to get a good time where we can get uh, four guys uh, lined up. I don't know if it's going to happen this weekend. We're trying to do it this weekend, but I, I don't know. If not, hopefully the next weekend, and, and we will get it done. Um, I've been dying to do it. Uh, I mean, I could do it here in the channel, but I just, I'm kind of waiting to do it with the Mafia, so... Because we all we all have the set, so we're kind of kind of wanted to do it together and uh, give give our uh, our thoughts all at once, so to speak. So which I think would be uh, would be fun. But yes, we'll get into this. So uh, scent notes haven't changed on this from the last time I used the soap. It is uh, bergamot, jasmine, juniper, and patchouli. It's a very nice masculine smelling soap. I quite dig it. Um, it really does kind of have that, that bond, je ne sais quoi. Uh, you know, like a masculine cologne type scent. It is the type of scent that you could picture yourself wearing. Uh, you know, playing a game of cards or chasing down villains in your Aston Martin. Maybe spending some quality time with a with a Bond girl, if you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, really, really dig the scent on this. Love it. Love all things James Bond. I wish there was a splash, a matching splash. And I know Pete is looking at doing splashes because that would be really cool. Because then when you, know, you go to use the splash, you could say, and I like my splash, shaken, not stirred. So, you know. There's definitely some, there's definitely something to, to that, I think. And I know Pete is, uh, looking at, uh, looking at, uh, doing that. Also, another thing Pete is doing, you can, uh, I don't know if Hendrix has shared it yet. I think the Mafia show is going to share it. I know it's out there. Razor Ray shared it. So it's not a secret, but, uh, the Canadian Mafia... 
is getting our own soap. Yes, our own soap. It's going to be called Le Mafioso. And it's being done by Hendrix Classics and Co. I cannot wait. We worked with Ray on the weekend to do the label. So the label art is all done. You can check that out over at Razor Ray. And a link to his Instagram will be in the comment or down in the description box below. And uh, yeah, very, very stoked. I know what the scent is going to be. We have uh, we have picked the scent uh, and Pete can, can get it apparently. Uh, I'm not going to say what the scent is yet. We have that under wraps. We will let that be known as we get closer to, uh, to release. But very, very excited. Uh, totally came out of the blue that Pete wanted to do this. So a million thanks to Pete. That is incredible. And I cannot wait. And can't wait to see that starting to show up in shaves of the day. That is going to be some friggin' cool. Seeing the Canadian Mafia show official soap and it's got our mascot don maple our happy go lucky wet shaving beaver is loud and proud right on the front of the label so yeah it's gonna be very cool and speaking of cool just look at this lather oh yes so nice so nice this stuff lathers up like a dream <clears throat> Nice and dense. I am doing a DE shave today, so I think I'm going to go there. It's still a little bit on the on the pasty side. I, uh, this could definitely take a lot more water, um, a ton more water. I actually overloaded it, but uh, for a DE shave, I kind of like this. This is kind of where I like my my lathers for a DE shave. If I was going straight razor or uh, shaveta, I would uh, probably dial it in a little. A little bit more, get a little bit more water in there, but I think this is gonna be just perfect for uh, for the DE. I got, I got leather everywhere. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Look how this stuff lathers up. All right, and the scent strength coming off this is right. It's above me. I give this about a give this about a six, six and a half, maybe even seven. It's it's filling my den with this beautiful aroma. So, as I mentioned earlier, we got the Curve and uh, beautiful aluminium and the open comb C plate with a brand new Wizomet. This has not touched my face yet. Uh, two days of growth. And I figured, yeah, why not go with the open comb? plate for two days of growth because that's where it likes to uh, likes to rock and roll right around the two days growth for me I, I can daily shave with the with the C plate no problem but it really shines if I give it a couple days to grow and that's where my state of lather is so that's a full full first pass it's clinging right to the head of the razor Give it a quick rinse. Some on the blade tab there. And presto, blam on. It's all gone. Rinsed off, uh, yeah, nice and clean. So there you go. That's a, that's a good stage of lather for me for a DE shave. Enough I could do like a pass. You don't have it dripping and dropping everywhere. But um, but it rinses clean, which means it's got that level of hydration. If that was like super sticky and super stubborn to get off the razor, then then it would need a bit more hydration. But that was that was nice. It was very nice, and I really dig this scent. Oh, just nice and masculine. Nice masculine cologne. I really, really do like it. Hope everybody's having a great week. Mine's going pretty good. Didn't do a Monday video. Uh, just uh, was busy. I'm actually recording this on Tuesday. Uh, wife is off Monday and Tuesday this week. She's busy downstairs cleaning. I needed a shave. I figured why not. I'll get a I'll get a shave in today. 
and then uh, you know upload it on Wednesday like usual. As we get into this across the grain pass. Yeah, very nice, very nice. This curve is doing the things it needs to do and that is removing this pesky fur from my face. I seen some people are getting the, the Knopf pommel, which is the new red tip curve. It's very, very cool. I'm definitely going to have to add one of those, or at least the handle, at the very least. Get that cool new knurling with that red tip on it. Very nice looking razor indeed. Do I need another aluminum curve? No. Do I want one? Absolutely. Because <laughs> that's the way it is. You gotta, you gotta have the different variants. Same as the copper. Do I need a copper curve? Hell no. But do I want one? Oh, you betcha. And um, funny thing is, I do have my custom curve stand, um, which right now is a three razor stand. Uh, let's see if I can get this down without upsetting everything. Uh, let's see if I get this in the frame here. So. I know lots have seen this, but that's my custom three, three curve razor stand with the logo on the front. I also have another one that's a two razor stand. So if you're doing the math alongside with me here, uh, three plus two equals five. Um, I have three razors now. If I get the knob handle in the copper, that makes five, which means I have enough uh, stand real estate for to get both those razors and just put that other stand here in the den alongside this one. And I will have a wall of curves. I could think of worse things to collect. So yeah, probably gonna have to get on that. And other than that, I already have no, no new insights or words of wisdom or anything. Just enjoying this shave, enjoying this scent, enjoying this razor, this blade, and just living the dream. A uh, reminder, tomorrow night is bbs.live. Uh, you guys definitely want to check that out. That's 8 p.m. Central. For, you know, those weird people that live in the Central Time Zone. Uh, for the rest of us, it's on at 9 Eastern. Or, well, for me, 10 local time. Uh, if you live on the east coast of uh, the country of Canada, then, uh, yeah, 10, 10 p.m. Definitely don't want to miss that one. It's going to be great as usual, I'm sure. Nate Dog and Mel are always uh, always entertaining. It's always a good time. So, looking forward to that. I'll have some new booze in the house to uh, to imbibe in. Gonna make a liquor run tomorrow. It's the end of the month. It's my payday, which means it's a uh, liquor store day and add to the collection. Try to build up my whiskey collection. I think I have five bottles now, I think. So after tomorrow, I'll have seven, which is good. I like to have some variety. And then it keeps me from drinking all my expensive single malts uh, too quick. So, yeah, definitely. I think I'm going to get a Canadian rye and, uh, and a cheap bottle of uh, smoky blended scotch. I think that's what I'm going for tomorrow. And then I get two more bottles I want to add next month. And then... It'd be Christmas, so yeah. All right, well, that was a very, very nice shave indeed. Let's give this bomb a try, shall we? No need to shake this, it is a bomb. The generous serving of bomb, too, I might say. That is pretty much full right to the gums. Oh, yeah, it's carrying that scent beautifully. So, 
And I kind of like the idea of the tub here too, actually, because I can just get in there and get what I want on my finger. Uh, I do know he's coming out with an airless pump, and airless pumps are cool as well. I do have a couple of those. So let's just get a little bit in the hands. We'll rub that in. I don't use bombs a whole lot anymore. Uh, I do have a few though, and I do like them, and I... My skin reacts well to them. Oh yeah, that feels nice. It's not greasy at all either. Feels like it's absorbing right in. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think my face can take just a little bit more. Oh, it smells very nice too. Perfect match to the soap. The fragrance is carrying well in the bomb, which is good. And that's what you want. I don't smell any of the bomb base or the ingredients. Because I've had a couple bombs do that. They've kind of went off. <laughs> Of course, they were older than Methuselah, and the scent really deteriorated, and all you could smell was the base. So that's not cool. And now this smells great. And it's got my face feeling great. That's the main thing, right? Very, very nice. Well, that was that was a great shave. So thank you so much, Todd, uh, for that. That is incredibly awesome. Uh, I'll have to uh, I'll have to whoop your butt in Bond trivia more often <laughs> I guess that was uh, that was that was pretty epic yeah we did that on the take care man podcast the bond trivia came up and I just absolutely wiped wiped the internet with the poor fella he did not know that he was going up against a, a huge bond fanatic so anyway fair play fair play so that was the shave guys thanks so much for tuning in I do appreciate it as always and uh so until next time i hope you are uh you're safe uh be kind to one another and most importantly have a great day and better shave and we'll catch you in the next one peace, peace.